Hello there everyone and welcome to Let's Look at Blot. Uh, this is a quick video looking at Majestic Software's uh, newish title available on the Mac App Store and on the App Store as well. You can pretty much get it for any Apple device you have. Um, sadly it's not available on any other platforms as of yet. Um, let's just, we're looking through the, the menu as always. Uh, I like to go through stuff. Um, it's a very simple game. You try and float across the map, I guess. I don't know, it's not really a map. Um, and there are various tools you can buy. Uh, costumes. Uh, all very comical. A lot of them are references to other video games or pop culture. Or just funny in general, I suppose. There's nothing wrong with that. Uh, I've already played this game a bit, and uh, it's fun. It's it's challenging. And um, what do we got here? Uh, Jeremy, David, and Tim. Uh, if it doesn't make sense, those are the guys behind the game. Trollface, classic. He's he's the one I've been using, but uh, hasn't been faring so well. I like the lumberjack. What do we? What else? Mohawk. I haven't bought most of these, even though I can. I have lots of money. And some of them you can't buy until you beat the challenge stage, which you'll see later on in this video, which I am abysmal at. Um, this is typical kind of profile page. It keeps track of your stats and everything, just so you can kind of see how well you're doing. And then we have the achievements page, which not only shows you the achievements that you have yet to unlock and that you have unlocked, but it also gives you an idea of the progress you've made towards the ones that you've you've started. So Monopoly 60%, acquire enough coins to purchase everything. So I'm getting close to that one. And I'm gonna go back to tools and show you these a little more. Uh, um, I think I'm gonna buy them all. I want the there's an achievement Swiss Army knife um, as well you can see there's and I apologize for this very bad technical mistake the video is cropped a tiny bit at the top and bottom but don't worry you're not missing anything other than at the top it shows you how many coins you've collected and distance you've gone but those you see uh, when you crash and such so here we go I'm troll face um, one of the things that drew me to this game, other than the $1 price tag, and that's what you pay for the iOS app or the Mac app, uh, so you're dumb not to get this if if you have one of those um, devices avail available uh, available to you. Um, but what, what drew me to it, other than the price, was the hand-drawn art. I was kind of like, what, what do you mean hand-drawn art? And you can see in the background it's actually dynamic in that um, the background changes every time. The foreground is is, is going to be the same, um, which is kind of nice because then it creates a fair playing ground and, and creates some consistency so you kind of know where to try harder, what to look for, this and that, and all that mumbo jumbo. Uh, what you saw me collect there was another blot, although they look kind of like, uh, if you've ever played a Pokemon game, kind of like a ghastly. And um, they increase your size, a and uh, after you collect so many, you kind of get a boost, and that just helps you, as you see right here, like you zip right across and you're gonna gather huge amounts of distance which is what you want the further you get uh, the better grade you're given at the end once you finally splat because um, that's what blats do they splat uh, as well you can see obviously we're collecting a lot of coins coins being the currency in this game they help you buy different costumes uh, different tools and uh, I don't, I'm not sure if it's a homage to Mario. I mean, I know a lot of games use coins and such, but it's it sounds exactly like the coin sound sprite they use for that. Um, 
And you can even see in the background drawings, there's there's lots of references to other stuff. It's just, it's just nice, nice to look at, and it's a different aesthetic. It seems a lot of games these days are competing to kind of present themselves in a in a different way, and there's really only so many ways you can do that. Uh, a hand drawn is kind of a different take. I haven't seen too many games that are hand drawn as of recently, anyways. Um, given that technology is, I mean, it's so easy to to open up Adobe Flash or or um, some 3D software program or whatever it is. That's um, very easy to make your own games with computer generated images. What you saw there, normally that would have been the end of of my run. And that actually is the end of my run there. You can see I had a D plus. Um, and basically that portal is just a tool you can buy. I think they're five thousand dollars for one portal. And it saves you from dying. And that's nice when you get really far. Uh, it gives you a second chance, but obviously I just, I crumbled under the pressure. Right here, this is the Outback Challenge. This is one of what looks like three challenges. The other two are coming soon, so that's kind of like, I guess, DLC, but I'm not sure if they're actually going to charge for it. Either way, this is similar to the, to the gla classic game we were just playing with the exception that you have to collect pies and it's got crocodiles and koalas and the develop you know the developers they're Australian so I guess that's that's why there's a lot of references to Australian culture here's one of the pies so we actually have to collect 60 of those I believe to complete this challenge there's another portal Obviously, I'm going to use it. That gator, or that croc. Is that, that's a crocodile, I'm pretty sure. He got me. Uh, another thing, watch out, buddy. Ooh. That um, you'll see here, these paint strips. Different colors of paint have different properties. Uh, they affect your blunt in different ways. The green paint speeds you up a tiny bit. Orange paint will slow you down. I don't know if it slows you down or slows time down. If I don't think it really makes a difference. Um, blue temporarily makes you kind of magnetized so that you don't actually have to run over. Oh, I can't believe I missed that goddamn pie. And here we got a koala. You actually have to swipe to get him off. You don't click, you swipe. And, uh, anyways, yeah, it's the blue paint, it, it makes the coins come to you, which is nice, because half the time I do stupid things to get coins when I really shouldn't. And let's see how far we can go. No, dead. I got an E+, plus. that's pretty bad. Uh, and you can see there, 13 more pies to the next reward. I'm going to go back and play Classic again. Uh, just to keep it simple, it's it's a little bit easier and it helps me display the game mechanics a, a little better. I'm not sur trying to survive. And I'm going to change. Let's see. Who do I want to be? Who do I want to be? Blastachio. He's got a sombrero and his mustachio. Space visor. I can't see anything without the visor. It's true. I can't see anything without it. But I'm digging the mustache, and I love Mexican cuisine a lot. I'm just feeling like the mustache is going to give me some sort of divine powers. Uh, let's see. Let's see how far we go. And there's My Little Pony in the background. I've never watched it or anything, but I apparently it's some big internet following behind it like I'm, I'm not exactly sure why or I don't care to learn about it necessarily uh, maybe you can tell me the big deal in the comments fill me in I guess we got uh, is that Tinkerbell in the background we got some giant mar marshmallows 
Uh, if it hasn't seemed obvious yet, you want to avoid, at least in the classic game mode, these push pins and the pencils. That's essentially the key. Oh, I love you too. And another thing that immediately reminded me of is back in high school, I used to play this game called Helicopter Game. And if you want to check it out, if you've never checked, you know, played it before, just go to helicoptergame.net and it's the same mechanic, right? Uh, all we're doing here, you can either use on the computer anyways, uh, spacebar to give yourself gas. If you take your finger off spacebar, then you begin to succumb to gravity. Simple enough. Or you can use your mouse and you just left click to do the same thing. I'm not sure how it works on the iPad or the iPhone or iPod Touch, but I imagine it would be very similar. Just touch your finger on the screen and let go. Touch your finger on the screen, let go. Very simple game mechanic, uh, but it becomes difficult because you have to anticipate, you know, how fast you'll you'll fall or rise, and you've got all these other moving objects. So are they going to move out of the way by the time you get to that point on the screen? I don't know. So I, I just like it because it's it's simple. Again, it's aesthetically pleasing, which is a common theme in a lot of the games I look at. Um, I just admire- oh wow, look at that cent centaur in the background, that's impressive. He must work out. Um, yeah, again, common theme in the games I choose. I like to look at games that are pleasing to my eyes, because I have great vision. And I like eye candy, and I think this is one. Just the soft charcoal of the background. It just gives it a little life somehow, uh, or character. I, it's, I can't put my finger on it, but it's, it's wonderful. And I think, is that Giro from Dragon Ball? Or was that Dra That was Dragon Ball GT. I can't remember. Um, just, it's, it's neat. And listen to the music, it's kind of cheerful, it's hoppy, it's poppy. No, it's not poppy. It's, um, it's folky. It's more folky. A little bluegrass influence, maybe, I'm not sure. And the game is, is surprisingly hard. And these erasers, you'll bounce off them, they're okay to touch, but they kind of make it a little difficult at times. But uh, for 99 cents, you, again, you can't go wrong. It's fun. You can compete with your friends. You can play it on the bus ride or the subway or wherever the heck you're going to work or school or just play it out on your deck drinking a beer. That's what I'll be doing. So, I hope you guys have enjoyed it. I know there's not a super amount to talk about, but I, I really wanted to show you this game because it's a, definitely a lot different than what's what's out there for the most part so uh, that's gonna be it I got a C plus I don't really yeah, that's not very good by my standards but I'm gonna keep playing and uh, maybe maybe we'll have another look at it later on peace out